All right, so to implement our new workflow, the first thing that we have to do is create an account on Docker Hub. So if you haven't already done that, go ahead and sign up to Docker Hub and then sign in. So I'm gonna log in real quick. And so once we've logged in, this is going to be, uh, you know, where we store all of our repositories. So I'm going to create a brand new repository and I'm just gonna give this name uh, node app and I'm gonna make this public. So Docker Hub gives you one public repository. Sorry, you get unlimited public repositories. You get one private repository. So I'm just gonna keep that as public for now and then we'll hit create. And so now let's uh, push our image that we have on our development server up to this repository so this repository can store our final image. And so to do that, the first thing that you have to do is let's go to our development environment and let's do a Docker. And then there's a command called push. And then let's just do dash dash help just to kind of poke around and see what options we have. So it looks like we just do Docker push and then we just do the name uh, and then, you know, colon and then tag. So if we do Docker, well, first of all, let's do Docker image LS. And let's grab our latest uh, Docker image uh, for our Node app, which is this one right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a Docker push and then this, and then if I don't pass in you know, a specific tag, it's just gonna assume to be latest. So let's try that. And we may have to do a Docker login first. All right, so we're logged in. Let's try a push again and let's see if that worked. And it looks like it's denied. And so the reason for this is that uh, when you push an image to Docker Hub, it needs to have a very specific name. So if we go here, this is the name of our repository. This is the name that we have to push it as. So we have to do sloppy networks, which is my username. So you have to use your username, whatever that is, and then slash, and then the name of the image. So we're gonna change that. So how do we change the name of an image? Because right now, if I look at my image, it's called this. And you can see I need to rename it to something like Slappy Networks slash node app. Uh, so to do that, we have to do the command docker image. And then there's a command called tag. All right. And so what we do is you grab the name of your current image that you want to rename. And then you want to then pass in the name that you want to rename it to. What it actually does is it copies the image and then gives the new copied image the name that you tell it. So I'm going to name this my username, make sure you put in your username, slash, and then we'll just say, uh, what was it called? Node dash app. And right now if I do a Docker image LS, scroll to the top, we can see that we now have sloppy networks slash node dash app. And it's got a tag of latest because we didn't give it a tag. So let's push this up now. So let's do a Docker push, copy that name. And so now we can see that it's successfully getting pushed. All right, so now that that's complete, if we go back to Docker Hub and refresh this page, we should see that an image was successfully pushed. And so we can see that we got an image that was pushed a few seconds ago. Uh, and so now it's within this repository and our production server can pull that image. <clears throat> However, before our production server can actually pull this image, we need to tell Docker Compose that we want to actually use this image for our application moving forward. So how do we do that, right? Because we still need to be able to build the, uh, build our image ourselves with Docker Compose, but we also need to be able to tell it that, you know, when we want to actually run the application, we want to use this specific image in this repository. So what we have to do is let's go to docker-compose.yaml and under node-app, what we can do is we can pass under here an image property. And here you just pass in the name of that repo. So you do sloppy networks slash node-app. So once again, your username and then the name of the project. And so now when you do a Docker pull, it's going to pull this specific image and you can still technically build an image as well. So you get the flexibility of being able to build an image as well as pulling the image from the repository. Now, since we made some changes to our Docker compose file, we do need to push that to GitHub and then pull those changes onto our production server. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna do a git add dash dash all.
And then on our production server, we just do a git pull. All right, so now what I want to do is let's go ahead and do a docker compose up dash D and let's just see what happens. All right, so it rebuilt an image just because um, now our image is actually called sloppy networks slash node app. So when we actually build an image, it's by default going to give this name. So it built that image uh, on the production server local machine. It named it sloppy networks slash node uh, dash app colon latest, and then it recreated the application and nothing's changed. Uh, so we've got it working now, um, but how exactly do we push those changes now? So let's say uh, in our development environment, we make some code change. So let's go back to index.js and let's make some changes. So I'm going to add some exclamation points. So how do I actually push those changes, right? Well, remember, what we want to do is we want to build an image on our local machine and then push it up to uh, our, uh, our repository on Docker Hub. And then once it's pushed out to our repository, we'll then pull it onto our production server. So how do we build an image? Well, we already know how to build an image. However, we can use Docker Compose to do that as well. So let's see if I can find the command. So we'll do Docker dash compose. And you got to do the dash F and everything again. So we'll do Docker dash compose. Dot YAML. And then uh, dash F once again, and then Docker dash compose dot prod dot YAML. So we always want to do the dot prod because we're building the image for production. And we want to run instead of up, right? If we do dash dash help, we can actually do a build. So just like when it comes to Docker, um, like Docker build or Docker uh, push and things like that, we have all the same commands for Docker compose. So we want to do uh, Docker compose build that's going to build all of our services. So we'll do build. And what this is going to do is um, for all the services that you have, and it looks like my terminal just crashed. Wonderful. And do I still have, and it's gone. So I got to rebuild that for a sec. So give me one second. And then we do build. So what this is going to do is, uh, if we go to our Docker Compose, it's going to look through all of our services that allow us to build an image, right? And so right now, we only have one custom service where we have to build an image. However, if we had more than one, uh, maybe we had a couple of other uh, services that required building images, it would build the image for all of those services. So if I do build now, right, it's going to go through that whole process. It's built the image. If I do a Docker image LS, you can see we have a sloppy network slash node dash app. And you can see this one was built five seconds ago. So this is the one that we're concerned with. And so now that we have this image, we can then push it up to uh, Docker Hub. However, one thing I want to point out, like I said, it's going to build all of our services. And in this case, it's just our one node app service because we only have one service where we can build a custom image. However, in a production application, you may have more than one service. So let's say we only wanted to build uh, the image for just one of our services. Is there any way we can specify that? Absolutely. All you have to do is just pass in the name at the end of the service that you want to build for. So here, this is only going to build the node app service. All right. So we got our image. The next thing we have to do is push to Docker Hub. So just like we have a build command, we also have a push command. So we can say push, and this is going to push it to Docker Hub. And you have the option of pushing all of your images for all of your services, which if I just hit enter right now, it's going to do that. Or we can also specify just the services we want to push an image for. So if I do node dash app, it's only going to push the image that we built for this service. But if we have more than one service, then we could theoretically push all of them out if we just don't specify the name of a service. So I'm going to just push out just this service. And remember, the change that we made was we added the extra exclamation points. All right, so we push that image. We go back to Docker Hub, hit refresh. 
And you can see once again, it was pushed a few seconds ago. And if you wanted to see all of them, it's going to show you that, but let's go back. And now let's go uh, to our production server. And instead of running an op, we just do a dash dash help. And let's see if there's a option to pull an image. All right, so now if we take a look at the list, it looks like there is a way to pull a service image. So let's try that. I'm going to say pull. And let's see what happens. All right, so it looked like it pulled all of our images. So it, it, it went back to Docker Hub and checked to see if there was a more recent Redis image. Same thing with Nginx, same thing with Mongo. And then it pulled our brand new Node app image. So if I do a Docker image LS, uh, you'll see that this one was created about three minutes ago. Um, I guess it didn't have to update this, but I'm not sure why that didn't get updated, but let's let's try it out anyways. Uh, and so what we're going to do is let's do a Docker Compose up now with a new image and just pass in dash D and let's let it run. So we checked to see if these images were up to date and they were, and it looks like we were running an older image. So now that we got the new image, it's going to rebuild our container. And now it's running our latest image. So if I hit send, we can see that it now has the exclamation points. All right, so it looks like we now have somewhat of a better uh, development to production workflow by pushing and pulling images. Um, but a couple of things to note. So first of all, it checked to see if all of these images were up to date. Um, you know, there may be times where we don't want to pull the latest image for those. So just like we did before, we can do up dash D and then we can say dash dash no dash depths and then we can specify we just want to uh we just want to specifically update the node app so in this case it's just going to try and update the node app in this case all right so let's run through this workflow one more time just to make sure you guys understand what we have to do so let's go back to our our development environment i'm going to change this back to here by removing those and so the first thing that we have to do is once we make those changes, we have to build an image. So we run a Docker compose build, right? And we have the option to specify just one service or more than one service or all services. I'm just going to specify this one service. We'll hit enter. It's going to build that image. Next thing we have to do is we have to push this brand new image that we created to Docker hub. And so we can do a, let me hit the up arrow a couple of times. So then we do a Docker compose push and once again we can push all of our images or just one image so in this case we're going to push just the node app image so let's run that it's going to push it up to docker hub all right and so now once that's pushed up there let's go to our production server and then here we pull that brand new image so we do a pull and here you can also specify just the service that you want to pull an image for so i'm going to specify just the node app because that's the only thing we're updating and so now it's going to pull our node app. And then we can run a Docker compose up and specify just the services we want to change. So if we run just an up, this is going to try and uh, it's going to check to see if there's changes for any of our services. And if there are, it's going to change all of those services. However, we didn't change anything with our databases. So nothing technically needs to change. But in a production environment, if you know nothing should change, um, just, you know, I would just rather just hard code it to say I only want to update my. Uh, node or express app just in case because I don't want to accidentally rebuild a database or my Redis data store or any other important aspect of my application that doesn't need updating. So I'm going to pass in the dash dash no dash depths and then specify no dash app so that we only can rebuild just that one service. All right, so we're recreating the container because we're using a brand new image that we pulled. Once that's done, let's test it out. And so now the exclamation points should be gone. And now they're gone. So that's our development workflow at the moment. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can automate one of those steps.
And you'll see that, um, you know, I'm not saying that you do want to automate that specific step that we're going to do, um, but it is an option. I just want to make sure I cover everything in this video.